You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriance for Black and White Sports. Wow. This is going to be a pretty serious subject because it involves loss of life for six people. Involves a former NFL player and not a cup of coffee guy either. Six seasons, played in the league, a guy by the name of Philip Adams, and he played in the league for, uh, let me get it to you, the 49ers, Patriots, Seahawks, Raiders, Jets, and Falcons. And he was 32 years old. Uh, pretty heinous story. But there's been some things revealed. And as we're reading this, let's just think about the fact that Roger Goodell and the NFL have been preaching so much about player safety. You care so much about player safety that your greedy ass has decided to add an extra game. You're looking at adding another game, like 18 games. That's a thing, folks, in about another two to five years, okay? You added an extra wild card. Why? Because you all want to make more money. You're worried about player safety, supposedly, and what's happening to their noggins. Well, this looks bad on the NFL, in my opinion. Okay? Not not that Philip Adams is any less responsible, but if you're concerned about player safety and what's happening to their brains adding extra games is not what it's about this is tmz ex nfl player philip adams brain shows severe cte says boston university he killed six people this is him former nfl player philip adams who slaughtered six people before taking his own life had a severe case of CTE when he went on a violent rampage, according to a neuropathologist. Ann McKee, a top brain doc who runs the CTE Center at Boston University, the nation's premier facility when it comes to examining brains, released her findings after thoroughly examining Adams' brain. Adams was suffering from Stage 2 CTE considered a severe case because it was found in both frontal lobes of the brain. In fact, Dr. McKee says Adam's case of CTE was similar to Aaron Hernandez's holy shit, okay, who was convicted of murder in 2015 and he was a full-blown psychopath and like the defensive back also took his own life. That's right, he killed himself in prison. Adams went on a killing spree in York County, South Carolina in April, brutally murdering a predominant area doctor, his wife, two grandkids, five and nine, Jesus Christ, and two people working on the family home. Adams then took his own life a short time later. In light of the horrific incident, Adams' family agreed to send his brain to Boston U., FYI, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, that's CTE, I don't know if I said that right, is the term used to describe brain degeneration likely caused by repeated head traumas. CTE is a diagnosis made only at autopsy by studying sections of the brain according to Mayo Clinic. I don't know why they cannot figure out some way to measure this prior to death. At the time of the shooting, Phillips' sister told USA Today her brother was struggling with mental health issues. But she said her brother, quote, wasn't a monster. Dr. McKee's findings likely finally explain the bizarre and violent behavior. Adams was a seventh-round pick of the 49ers out of South Carolina State. He played six seasons in the league for the 49ers, Patriots, and Seahawks, Raiders, Jets, and Falcons. He was 32 years old at the time of his death. Wow. I mean, that's a god-awful situation. It's a god-awful story. 
Not for one second do I believe that's an excuse for the behavior of Mr. Adams. But there could have been an issue there, and it could have influenced, you know, he maybe he had some dark demons, and CTE was the thing that pushed him over the edge. We don't know, okay? But my point is, as long as the NFL is so concerned about safety, you can't keep adding games. You cannot, because you look like you're full of shit, Roger Goodell and owners. You don't care. Vincent Jackson, dead. Junior Seau, dead. Philip Adams, complete psychopath and dead. Aaron Hernandez, complete psychopath, dead. Also killed himself. I mean, the list goes on and on here. This is crazy. It's repugnant behavior. Never mind some of the other violent things we see from around the league. Now, I think some of these people are predisposed and may already have a history. But, you know, this guy's sister says, my brother wasn't a monster. I don't know. Maybe he was. But they're finding something over and over again involving CTE. Roger Goodell's pushing safety. But yet they're cashing those fat checks as they continuously add games. And guys, adding games, adding one game a year, whatever, it's a a tremendous amount of revenue for the NFL. So, tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. It's always something with the NFL that always makes them look bad. It's amazing how much violence there is around the NFL away from the field. Odd, isn't it? I've got another video coming. Crazy. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.